Now, with me here, I have Ewan McGregor, star of Train Spotting most recently, um, and Shallow Grave, of course, before that. And what are you doing here then? You, you've been uh, making a movie, obviously. Yeah. yeah what uh, else? Well, I'm shooting a film called Night Watch at the moment. Um, I saw that. It was a Danish film, wasn't it? Yeah. That's yeah, right. yeah. yeah. The, uh, the traditional American remake of oh, yeah. uh, the, the aforementioned film. But, uh, however, the, the, the director and producer of the original film are, are doing the remake, so it's nice to have a, they've got a flow through with it, you know. Yeah. Is this your first experience of, of Hollywood? Yeah, yeah. I, be, I was here for a week sometime last year, but yeah. this is my first, certainly my first time working here. Yeah. So what do you make of it? I don't know. It's awful nice to have something to do here. You know, to be working here is like, probably quite a good thing. I yeah. have no idea what, we, what it would be like with uh, your days to film, but I like it. I'm having a good time, so. It was a bit, you know, to be here at this time and when the whole town is just talking about Oscars, sure. was there a lot of buzz on the set about it? There's not been an awful lot of buzz on the set, no. Our, our sparks and technicians weren't awful enamoured by really? it, but uh, certainly round about, we're meeting people round about town and stuff, there's yeah. been a hell of a buzz about it. Yeah. It's, it's quite astonishing, isn't it, you know, yeah. the, 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 yeah. the, the way they've gone about it. Now, do you have any, any particular favourites among the films, any, anything that you know. would like to see carry on the no trophy? I don't know about best movie because I'm I'm actually not very sure what's what, what's been nominated for best movie. Well, there's Babe, Apollo 13, Braveheart, Sense of Sensibility, and of course Postman Pat, Il Postino. Postman Pat, <laughs> well, Sense of Sensibility, of course, has to has to okay. go away with the prize. Right. Well, I think we're going to have to break it off here okay. because Oscar is going to interrupt us again. Right. Oh, I think I think he might have thanked his wet nurse. Actually, that makes Braveheart the big winner of the night so far. It's got four awards, and I suppose it might be reasonable at this stage to predict that it's going to pick up best film, but we'll find out later on. Anyway, back now with Ewan McGregor. What do you make of it all so far? I I'm enjoying it a lot. <laughs> There's people up there. It's good. Did you watch it last year when David Letterman did the Whoopi Goldberg no, stuff? No, no, I never, no, I never no, saw no, it last year. I, no. I think, actually, she's doing it rather better. Than she seems to be having a great time, and that's she nice to see. She seems to yeah. be enjoying herself, yeah. 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 Now, are you enjoying yourself? Yes, I am. Yeah, <laughs> things are very good for me at the moment, and well, uh, I can't they, complain. Justin, yeah. I mean, what, what have you done? They were, it all started with Shallow Grave, I suppose, didn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. was my first feature film, yeah. Yeah, yeah and yeah, then welcome. Train Spotting. Did, they, did that come as a surprise to you, the, the way it was received? Um, it sounds very arrogant to say no, but not, not particularly. I mean, if you mean about you know, the fact that it's, there's drugs involved and whether yeah. the public are going to accept that or not, and I think in, in the, the basic thing is that it's a very good film because I, I really believe in Danny Boyle's directing, I love working with him, and uh, Andrew McDonald's producing and John Hodge's writing, you know, the whole team is yeah. so strong, and uh, I believe that Danny has a, a specific style, and I, I like that, and um, it seems to be that people like that too, so I don't know, after I'd seen it, I, 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 I'm not particularly surprised, but uh, I don't know. But now you're, you're over here, well away from... Danny Boyle and Scotland and all the rest uh -huh. of it. Are you going to go the same route as Gary Oldman and Tim Roth and, and stay here, do you think? I don't, I don't think so, no. I mean, I, I kind of saw coming here as, as I would see doing a movie anywhere. You know, I would maybe go to Cornwall to yeah. do a movie or I'd go to Dorset to do a movie or I'd go to LA to do a movie, you know. I see it in the same way, that um, I enjoy a script, reading a script, I'd like to be involved in it. So you go where they're making the movie. And um, I certainly don't have any intentions or plans to stay here. I'm going back to do another film in Ireland, funnily enough, in, in the summer, so, you know, I'm going straight home again afterwards. Yeah, but I, I suspect that Gary Oldman and Tim Roth didn't have any plans to stay here, <laughs> and, and they've, they've been hanging around for quite, quite maybe, some time. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I think I consider London as being my home, you know, and yeah. I, I, I'd miss it a lot if I wasn't there. Well, you know, getting, getting back to that award to, to Emma Thompson for uh, mm. Sense of Sensibility, you yourself have just been in uh, an Austin adaptation. That's right. Emma. Yeah. Yeah. When, when are we likely to be able to see that? I, I think maybe in the autumn. I, yeah. I really don't know for sure. But um, it's possible that they'll open it in Cannes. I, yeah. I don't know for sure, but perhaps. And so I imagine maybe in the autumn we'll see that. Well, how did all that come about? I mean, who made it? Who wrote it? Who directed it? I, I know very little about it. Um, it, it was written by... Um, who was it written by? There we go. It was written by uh, somebody McGrath, Doug McGrath. Doug, Doug McGrath. McGrath. I'm there sorry, Doug, if you're watching. I did know more about it than you. Absolutely tell me. Complete block. Who um, who co-wrote Woody Allen's movie, uh, The Bullets Over Broadway, and who's a wonderful, wonderful director to work with. But Great it couldn't fun. be much more different, could it? Woody Allen and, yeah. and, and Jane Austen. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely right. But he was great, and uh, really saw the writer, you know, escape from the typewriter. Yeah. It was brilliant to work with him. 
And yeah. a good script? Very good. He kind of he made the dialogue very witty, particularly. And in 1938, Spencer Tracy.